Hey guys, unfortunately I won't be in class today, so um, I want to make sure you guys understand what the game plan is today and for the rest of the week actually for EDD it's pretty straightforward. Um, so again, we're going to be working on those design challenges. Um, today I'm just going to go over them a little bit more in depth. Wednesday you guys are going to be in groups kind of going through this. Um, and then Friday you guys will actually be presenting them. So I know this says uh, Tuesday, here we go, September 29th. Um, you're going to see the learning targets here. You're going to see today's objectives. Um, what the goal is first, and make sure you get uh, some easy points here. Go to the Q&A about the intro to assemblies. Even if you don't have any questions, make sure you put that. Um, and it'll say on shape assemblies inside there. You should be good to go. Um, design challenges real quick. You're going to see these three that we talked about. You guys already made one sketch per. Um, so I had a couple questions on this one specifically about the phone. Um, the broadness of that is, is purposeful. I wanted you guys to kind of think on your own to figure out what you thought um, while being on your phone, what that meant to you. Um, so you could say, you know, for example, um, well, obviously if I'm on my phone, does that mean I'm texting? Does that mean I'm calling? Does that mean I'm surfing social media, whatever the case may be? Um, create a device that will allow someone to complete a manual task while being on the phone. So you have to determine what that means of being on the phone. Um, create a piece of playground equipment that can encourage kids to play. So please be innovative on this one. Don't pick something that's already existing um, or that's something that's really... Uh, you know, kind of just a caveat or a build upon something that's already existing. Make sure you guys pick something that's, you know, new, something that's uh, fun. Um, some people were asking about safety. I know this is going to sound bad, but don't worry about safety. Don't worry about cost, any of that kind of stuff. I just want you to focus on getting through the design process in general. And the last one's pretty straightforward. Um, see documents in today's folder for detailed versions. So if you go back into Mondays, you're going to see detailed for each one of these, um, a design brief that walks you through. The only difference between all three is the problem statement itself. Um, here's what you're going to have to do. So physically, you're going to create an annotated sketch and technical drawing of the design. That's a final sketch um, that shows dimensions, notes, um, all that kind of stuff. Dimensions, don't worry about anything other than height, length, and width. Just overall is fine. Create a CAD if possible. There is no if possible. Every person will be involved in the CAD modeling. Create a model or prototype of the design using materials around you. Um, that's important. Just try and make it a working illusion. I'm, I'm thinking cardboard and duct tape here. I'm not going crazy on all this. Um, I just want you guys to make something that says, okay, yeah, this is going to move like this with, you know, with pieces that you have. Uh, and then create a pre presentation of all this. You don't have any money. It's due on class before you get on class on Friday because all day Friday what we're doing is just presenting these. Uh, you must represent all parts of the design process. And what I mean by that is if you come down to um, basically Thursdays in your case, not Fridays, if you click on the submission folder, you'll see um, those things that I just went over um, are reiterated here. And then it goes through a criteria of what I'm grading you on. So you're going to define the problem. And these little descriptions describe what I would recommend putting in each slide. So minimum, minimum, one, two, three, four, five slides. And the last one just presents. So five slides going through each one of these topics. Um, state and what the problem are using, um, you are solving and why you chose it. Uh, brainstorming sketches, which most of you guys already have done. Final annotated sketch, which is a final sketch. Nice looking, pretty, descriptive, uh, annotated. Developing a solution is the CAD model itself. Um, when I say this, I mean that each person should be building a part or something in there. You guys know how to um, you know, share files and on shape and how to work together now. So you should be able to say, okay, so-and-so is doing this part, so-and-so is doing this part. And then maybe you have like a master builder um, that puts everything together in an assembly, whatever the case may be. Construct and test. Uh, a working illusion needs to show how the design will function and then evaluate the solution. Reflect on what you would do differently and, and or if you had more design um, or to add to your design uh, if you were given more time. And then present is the last part. Um, going into that and what that means, um, if you go back to the presentation, there's also some guidelines here. These are deliverables I just went over. Um, in the design process, you got these six steps that I just went over. Here's the deliverables on top of that. So once you get into your, your groups, right, um, you guys are going to be, um, there's one person who's going to be a designer, one person, um, everybody, I'm sorry, is going to be a designer. Each person in the group is going to be sketching and doing the CAD. Um, then you can designate one person to be a builder, one person to actually make the presentation, and another person to actually present it. Maybe that fourth person is, the, like I said, the head designer um, in doing all this and making sure that they you know, make the CAD final and, and assembled and all that kind of stuff. It's totally up to you guys. Um, so don't worry about any of these times or anything like that. 
it's up to you guys to kind of go through um, inside of Schoology or into Zoom or whatever you want um, to kind of reach out to each other. I'm going to release a list um, that basically gives you um, the emails of each of the people you're in a group with. So that will allow you guys to at least reach out to and email me and say, hey, you know, this is so-and-so. I know I'm in your group. This is how we... Uh, this is how we're going to do this. So, um, again, that's pretty much it. You guys are going to be good to go. Um, Wednesday, if you look at that, let me go back to the whole thing here. Wednesday's checklist is just you guys working in your groups, getting together. You must be represent all parts of the process. Today is work for your incomplete challenges. Again, I will send an email out to the class inside of updates in Schoology with groups. Um, and those are the people that are in your group. I will also put the emails of each one of those people next to you um, just so it makes it a little easier for you to contact them. Um, you need to figure out how you guys are going to you know, reach out to each other. If it's Zoom, fine. If it's text, fine. If it's email, it's fine. Whatever. But you need to figure out a way. I'm just giving you emails to start the process. Um, that should be it. If you have any questions, just message me in uh, Schoology and you should be good to go. Thanks, guys.